Hello. Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all in love and kindness. How you doing, family? How was your week? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you paying attention to your life? Conscious self-health care moves. Mental observation view is essential for self-success. I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks. Your host of the Conscious Self Healthcare Hour. Yes, you know, I ended being on innerlightradio.com for six years, taking me a break, setting back, doing some recordings at home, relaxing. Whenever I think about it, sharing some more information, the Conscious Self Healthcare Hour. Because if I can help you remain in consciousness so that you can stay focused and have that intention, attention on your health care to make sure that you are staying in alignment with your true, true, true self. And so that's what we do here. And so I invite you to come dance with me when I put out these Conscious Self Health Care Hour video productions on my YouTube channel. So yes, take a deep breath. You know how we do it. Take that deep, deep kundalini breath. Feel that breath circulating throughout your whole entire body. You may start at the very tip of your toes and feel through your imagination the process of coming up and touching every fiber, every nerve, every tissue, every tendon, every cartilage in your body. Feel the joints. Feel every. Wherever you've been told there's some stagnation, some blockages, some fluids, some issues, we want to take that deep, deep breath and we want to focus and breathe into that area and give it a moment because you know the formula, you know how we do it. Oxygen pumps, electricity equals power. The Conscious Self Healthcare Hour, we're talking about cellular ecology, the science of lithology that puts you in control of your human body. So for the daily care of your body, you know why you do it the natural, holistic, energetic, vibrational, quantum way, because you understand that the field is the soul governing agent of the particle, and you are this particle. Helps to shape and formulate how the body responds, the cell is processing. And so we want to become more attuned with that and awaken to that. And it may be time for us to reset. It may be time for us to reconnect. It just may be time to view the whole situation differently. So take that deep, deep, cool and leaning breath. Or you might want to take that abdominal breath. Take that fire breath, but you want to relax and take a breath and make sure, most of all, that you're taking a moment to tune into yourself. That you want to ask yourself, Have I slipped? Have I gotten off track? Did I move on another train? Is anything externally controlling my consciousness about how I'm caring for my physical body? Am I giving in to any illusions out there? Because I know, I know 100%. That I am the God instructor for this body. I'm the pilot. So I take that deep, deep, deep breath. And we process and say yes. <clears throat> Taking back control of your life. So once again, I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks. Affectionately known as Dr. K, the wellness doctor. I'm a native Tonian of Washington, D.C. And the founder of the ARC of self-healing and self-help. You see, that's help education for longevity and peace. We got to help one another. Established in 1997, this is a health, wellness, maintenance organization and ministry for disease prevention. Understand what I'm saying. It's time to release, release, release disease care and that is the true disease prevention I'm the one and only conscious self health care educator I'm not a licensed medical doctor I do not practice address diseases my goal is to assist you with releasing the vibration the pattern of the disease consciousness state so no I'm not a licensed medical doctor they practice 
Practice and Disease Care. I'm a registered certified lithologist and a pioneer of bioenergetic and bioinformational wellness specialists supporting you with becoming the one and only conscious self-health care educator for yourself to become your wellness doctor so that you can better take care of your physical body. I'm a board certified holistic health advisor, but I am advising you to take back control of your health care. You should know why you are seeking to go to anyone for the care of your physical body. They have what you need, or you need a, a little bit of help in processing your situation out to the best that it can be for you. So take that deep, deep, deep breath. This information I shared with you is from the non circular science of quantum health and healing to assist all with making conscious self health care moves. Mental observation view is essential for self success. I help you understand what your body's symptoms are saying. You see, family, community, and friends, you know how we do it. We create cellular malfunctions, not diseases. I've been sharing this information with you for the past six years on Inner Light Radio, holding the space for you to come in every hour and share your wellness story, your journey to success, to let the world know that you have buried disease thinking. Why? Because we know that the information will rejuvenate your thoughts to live a stress and what a blessing and disease free life with conscious self-health care moves and we have to understand that life is a state of consciousness and we must always be vibrating higher in our states of consciousness never going lower never worrying, never giving in to the low vibrational frequency words of life that have you struggling and feeling alone and feeling isolated and feeling like you don't have the support that you need to get to where you're going or how you want to feel because you're turning against yourself and we want to support you with stop turning against yourself we want to help you understand what your fears are so how can I help you slay your health care fears? You let me know where they are, and I will turn you around back to yourself and let you see how divine you are, and not to give power to those words. So I assist all with shifting out of chronic disease care stress. Are you ready to shift out of chronic disease care stress? Are you ready to step up out of the dark ages of disease care Are you ready to step up? Are you ready to move beyond the man-made mindset of human consciousness about how you're caring for yourself? You see, when you do this, we honor you. We honor you every April. Because guess what, family, community, and friends? April is your month. For the past seven years, I have honored an individual on Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day, which is April 30th. You send me your wellness story. You send me your journey. You're telling me how you're moving forward. We put it all in the area and we pull out the honoree every year. So you have an opportunity to honor yourself because there's too many people living in the dark ages of disease, scared, living in fear, scared, crying, begging for a cure. You Beyond all of that, you understand that they can't create any cure for the fictitious diseases that they've created because you know they're cellular malfunctions, because your body is not processing correctly, because you have not given it the information, the energy, the nutrients that it needs, what it is that your body needs for you. Remember, you are unique. You are a very unique person, and your signature vibration is unique to you. We all process the same way, but our process is a little bit differently because I can't think for you. Your consciousness, your consciousness, that consciousness rules how your body is working. And that's what I want to help you bring yourself into more awareness of. And that's why you get to honor yourself every April on Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day, April 30th. And just sit back, and it's a time that you're going to have a true conversation with people, you know, because April is Conscious Self-Health Care 
and lymphatic cellular wellness month. And what does that mean? That means that I consciously take care of myself. I'm my wellness doctor. I understand the basics of how the body and the cells work. It's not complicated at all. I understand and recognize the disease is complicated. There's a whole lot of processing to that. But how to care for the human body? I understand what I need to do for my human body, what I'm doing in my life. I'm aware. And so that's all we want you to do here on the Conscious Self Health Care Hour. Take those deep, deep breaths. Take this moment to make sure that your wellness plan is being written the way that you want to be, that you want it to be written. And then in April, which is coming up, April 2017, get ready to honor yourself and honor that person that you know that's, that's made that shift and made that change, that's, that's working to move forward, to shift their energy from the sad, sad, standard American diet. But it's true that the diet is based on you and how you feel and your concerns with it. We all understand that the body process less with mucus. So the less mucus in your body, the less mucus fuel food that you put into your body, the more the body operates but you create the balance because your body is adaptable to you your consciousness so I'm not trying to tell you how to eat I'm not trying to tell you what to do all I want you to understand and trust and believe and hold with all your heart and your knowing the state that you control this physical body that you don't have to give a power to it you don't have to be in fear of no diseases no diseases no disease name I don't care what name they want to give it I don't want to care what order they put it in you do not have a disease you have cellular malfunctions that you can correct by providing the proper things and fuel that the body needs and that's all we talk about here on the Conscious Health Healthcare Hour so take that deep breath and get ready to honor yourself tell people to visit ConsciousSelfCare.com C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F Care C-A-R-E dot com read the information I did and get ready to set back and hit that reset button. Time for a change. Just stop thinking about diseases, where you are, what you've been trying to correct, what you've been concerned about, how they done broke it down and they gave you this name and they gave you that name. Just let it all go. Let's hit the reset button and start all over again. Because we never was taught cellular ecology. And that's what I want to share with you. The basic fundamentals of cellular ecology. You all are website. Check out that information and get ready to renew yourself, regenerate yourself, and understand what your body's symptoms are truly saying to you. And step up out of the dark ages of disease care. Come on, family, community, and friends. That's old. We have to accept this and move forward. Can't blame anybody. Can't say that it's hereditary. We can't say that we're catching everything. You know, it's like this time of the year is winter. Uh, and everybody's talking about, I got a cold. I got the flu. Don't come near me. Oh, don't come over. You can have all those things you want. But my immune system is my immune system. And I ain't had a cold in 20 some years. And I don't plan on having one. Unless my body is saying that I have too much mucus in me. And it's trying to find a way to relieve itself and let it out and if that's the case I'm not going to call it a cold I'm going to call it my body doing what it needs to do it's purifying itself because it's intelligent like that it's adaptable like that it knows what to do I got to give power to my body my body is smart because it runs on my consciousness and my subconscious programs and patterns are set for only one thing wellness 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 Yes, because we're going to create cellular malfunctions as we walk through this world with this human body. But I don't have to give it the the title or vibration of a disease or being concerned or worry about correcting it or even trying to prevent one. Because I understand that the human body is going to express itself that way when it gets bogged down. And that's just a way of letting me know it's time to me to get up and do something different to help this body process right. So you've been tuned into my real life radio show, Conscious Self Healthcare Hour. I'm not live at the moment. I'm taking a break from innerlightradio.com. I'm going to be coming back live very soon. But I want you to come on and dance with me. Whenever I put out a little short commentary to remind you to come on and let me help you write your wellness plan. 
because it's a time for you to relearn, rethink, and rewrite your very own wellness plan. It's a time to shift your energy, to change your vibration, to stop being in the worrying state, stop talking about all what's going on in the world, but just live and focus and self-care, self-harmony, and self-love. And yeah, it's time to return to self. It's time to create a new relationship with yourself and feel good. And you can't get that external information out. It got to come from within and knowing what's going on because, again, you are writing a canvas. You are creating your life. You are bringing the characters and the people into your life. And if you don't like what you see, you got to shift yourself. You got to rise in consciousness. That's why this is a conscious self-health care album. They throw that word around, but I'm really talking about a state of consciousness that applies to how you care for the operation of this holographic image, this beautiful human body that you decide to step into and be a part of on planet Earth. And so we want to, to just step back, take that deep, deep breath on Tuesdays, make that do conscious self health care hour moment visit my youtube channel k davis f k d a v i s f listen to some of the information out there set back review my website and no matter where you are in the world if you are ready to reprogram to re-imprint your informational field that governs your bio biology of your physical body if you're ready to do that anywhere in the world you may be i'm ready to assist you with that re-imprinting and that reprogramming through your new state of consciousness so are you ready are you ready to step up out of the dark ages of disease care are you ready to shift out of a state of chronic disease care stress it's time to leave it alone and not worry about anything because when you have assurance because you understand how this body works and your responsibility and that you cannot possibly create a disease but you can create cellular malfunctions that you can correct with the right information and that's what we want to do here so are you ready to stand up and be a part of the conscious self-health care movement are you ready to tell people that i don't even think about diseases anymore i'm not concerned about getting old and i'm not concerned about being placed in a home or anything like that because i have definitely shifted my energy and so to my baby boomers out there are you aging or are you saging because look at our seniors that have begun to understand and saw how their colleagues and family members and friends went down and decided that they wasn't going out like that. They didn't want that lifestyle. They wasn't going to get caught up on drugs and trying to correct the disease and, and any of that stuff. And so um, ask yourself the question with what you've been doing. Are you aging or are you saging? And what long-term plans are you holding on to? Because it should only be about wellness and life and love and self and feeling good and moving on and peace and harmony. And you can't get it when you get caught up. And listen to me closely. This is my quote in everything. And when I'm working with you, are you working from a man-made mindset of human consciousness? Because if you're not vibrating to self and doing what makes self feel good, that's how you create stresses in your life. It's never about anything external. It's only about you and how you are feeling about what you're doing with yourself and the conversation that you're having with yourself. And if those conversations is not of harmony and peace and love and balance and serenity and all things good and glorious, then you're giving your power to outer things. And then you have to think about it and take that moment to take that deep breath. And that's what I'm reminding you of. That when we work with together, I share with you to take that nap period. And you may have to take some nap periods. And we'll explain all those things to you when you connect with us. So visit my website if you're ready. Or if you are, if you have stepped up, if you're stepping up, and if you want to step up. I want to work with you to assist you, and I want to tell the world what you're doing. So I want to be able to interview you, and I want to read your wellness stories. So visit ConsciousSelfCare.com, C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S-E-L-F-Care.com, and nominate yourself. 
for the Conscious Self Healthcare Award of the Year. Nominate a senior for the Shirley R. Hardy well, Senior Wellology Award of the Year. And if you've been in the community sharing your gifts and your talents with your community for years, you had the vision to move people beyond the standard alternative so called kit that they put out there that they say is alternative, which is the real health care, holistic care, you know, and you pioneering some things and you've moved and supported a lot of people. You may want to honor yourself with the Visionary Award of the Year or organizational individual that you know that's been significant to your community. Let's bring this all together and remember, spread and share the word that April is Conscious Self Health Care and Lymphatic Cellular Wellness Month. And when you work with me, you will truly understand more about the power of the lymphatic system, the immune system, and how that helps you understand how you don't create diseases but sell your malfunctions. And that's why April is Conscious Self-Health Care and Lymphatic Cellular Wellness Month, with April 30th being Emancipate Yourself from Medical Mental Slavery Day. You get to honor yourself and, and be able to talk about it and tell your friends why you chose the pathway to wellness that you chose for yourself and not follow the norm and being stuck in the illusion of diseases and that there's a cure. And the only way that you can manage it is through removing organs and through cut, burn, and taking poison pharmaceuticals to maintain your human body's health there is a better way there is something that you can do that's different set back and take that all cleanse and deep deep breath and to start with knowing that basic quotation formula that came from a 30 step formula oxygen pumps electricity power with that and knowing that you are an electrical light being and that it's more about the wave patterns and the frequency of the vibration of the cells and the organs than it is about physical biology, you will make that shift and you will be able to take deep, deep breaths because you know the power of the oxygen as your first food. So once again, I'm Karen Khadija Davis, folks, from out of Washington, D.C., and this is the Conscious Self Healthcare Hour. It's the second part of my live broadcast show that I do on Inner Light Radio, which I'm taking a break from six years of doing live programming every Tuesday, um, restructuring, and I'm waiting for you to send me in those wellness stories because that's what what that show is all about. It's time for me to share your story to wellness. Share the senior story to wellness. That's what my space is all about. We want to share the information from individual people that are doing it. And so I will go live when you start sending in your stories to ConsciousSelfCare.com. So send in your wellness story and call everybody you know and tell them to honor their life, honor their journey, and send in their wellness story because that's what my journey is all about. I'm the Conscious Self Health Care Educator. And that's all I want to help you do is live a stress and a disease-free life. Take that deep breath, heart-to-heart, healthy living. And thank you for tuning in to my Conscious Self Health Care Hour on uh, this week. And today is uh, March the 14th. I will be posting this on my YouTube channel. And again, take that deep breath. And take out that pen and paper mentally or physically. And ask yourself the true questions about how you're caring for your health care. Is it time for you to make that change and step up out of the dark ages of disease? Care and honor yourself, the divine person that you truly are. So, have a terrific week. Look forward to our next Conscious Self Health Care Hour. And go dance with me. Get up and dance, dance. That's right, dance, feel the vibration, the sounds, at the beginning of the body healing itself. Heart to heart, have a great day. I just love keep talking, but I'm going to let you go. Peace and love. Thanks. <laughs>